Joyce Michael from Great Day on the Water Guide Service. Um, it's early November. We're out. We got a, a strong cold front blowing through. Strong uh, northwest, west northwest wind. It's supposed to be blowing all day today. We got brutal cold temperatures coming. You can see we got some snow overnight. Um, uh, in the background here, we're uh, supposed to have a little bit more of that coming, and then some single-digit lows and highs in the 20s. So I think we're going to start freezing stuff up. Stuff's already freezing up north of us. Uh, we're on a central Minnesota kind of a, um, a uh, waterfall kind of lake, uh, large, shallow, a uh, couple of cabins. I see some swans swimming in the background there. We got swans showing up already. Um, so we're hoping for a good shoot here this morning. I uh, just got the shooting time here. Um, actually a little past, but it's getting light enough to see now. And we, there are divers buzzing, expecting to shoot some divers, probably some uh, mallards today too, uh, maybe some geese. So um, again, uh, We'll, we're out uh, early November, uh, strong cold front blowing in before some really cold temperatures come and gusty northwest wind should be a migrating day. Uh, so we'll uh, get ready here, uh, get the guns loaded up and should have birds coming in anytime. Okay, it's light enough to take a look at our decoy spread here. We have a half a dozen geese right here. And we got one line on a bluebill sticking out there. Back sticking out there over the alley between them. Some loose bluebills and canvas backs right here. A lucky duck. Then we got mallards. Some gadwalls outside the mallards. Another lucky duck right here. Uh, uh, one mallard so far. So far we, we passed on three green winged teal swimming in the decoys, passed on three buffies swimming in the decoys. Got a nice bunch of mallard workers kind of broke into little groups here and there and kind of confused themselves, but we got a few to float in and get that one mallard. Uh, I've seen a few high flocks of divers migrating, but uh, nothing much work in this lake yet, so uh, it's early. Uh, stick it out here and see what happens. Alright, I just had some bluebills come in. We got a drake floating there. And then a whole flock of buffalo heads came floating in. We're, we're not shooting buffalo heads. <laughs> but uh, letting them swim around out there be some more decoys for us. Uh, we got a few other ducks in the area. Seen some more mallards, some canvas backs, and some more bluebills. So we will uh, need to go and pick up that bluebill until we have to. Well, we added a nice drake bluebill to the mix. There, spin him around. Let's see the belly on him. Nice bird there. All right, oh, well, we're chipping away here. And then we got that green hand to go with him so far. So, good job, Dan. Uh, it's the first week in November. We're out uh, in a central Minnesota on a um, large, shallow uh, waterfall kind of lake. Uh, we've, you can tell the conditions around me. We've got a, a good cold front blowing in here, a really strong front uh, for this time of year. We've had a, a cold October, colder and wetter normal October, and now November's starting out uh, going to be brutally cold here. We were in the 40s yesterday, and uh, Today we're in the 30s, uh, the good gusty northwest wind. We had snow showers yesterday afternoon, last night, some flurries this morning. Uh, tomorrow we're only going to be in the 20s. Um, so we got out here, we're set up on a cattail point on this lake, um, hoping for uh, some migrating going on, some divers, uh, some mallards and other puddle ducks. Uh, you can see so far, we just got going here this morning, but we've got one greenhead and one nice drake bluebill so far. Uh, we've seen some mallards, we've seen some bluebills, uh, I've seen a lot of buffies, uh, buffalo heads and hooded mergansers, we've seen some gadwalls, some teal, um, some canvas backs, so a little bit of everything starting to trickle through, we'll set it out here today. Um, but uh, that's a tip, anytime uh, you get towards the end of October, 
in the upper Midwest here or the uh, early part of November, watch for a strong cold front. Um, and if you can get out, uh, if it happens on the weekend or if it's during the week, if you can get out uh, anyway, get off work, um, birds will blow through. Um, these are, that, that bluebill might be out of Canada, that mallard's out of North Dakota for sure. Um, but uh, you'll get birds trickling through. Um, we're figuring we'll have birds over the next couple of days coming through with northwest winds and colder temperatures. So i um, just going to show you the decoy spread. Um, this time of year, you want to have a good mix. Um, there's still a little bit of everything that could be coming through. We've got a half a dozen geese out here. We've got a line of bluebills, uh, like the feeding line of diver ducks, a line of canvas backs, like the feeding line of divers. Um, and then that gives a little bit of a lane for divers to work to come up. We've got some loose bluebills and cans up close here. Um, and then to the right, we've got a bunch of mallards and some gadwalls there. We've got a couple of spinning wing lucky duck mallards out. So good variety. Birds, the types of birds that we're going to see this type of time of year, and you can see we've got plenty of landing area for them in the front. So, uh, so far, we've worked one flock of mallards, made sure we got a great out of it. One flock of bluebills got a great out of it. Um, passed on the buffleheads and the hooded mergansers. Had some teal swimming around this morning, didn't uh, mess with them. Um, but uh, expecting to see more flocks of bluebills, mallards, canvasbacks here, probably some gadwalls too. So uh, that's the tip, get out um, when you can, uh, if you can get out when a good cold front blows through and be ready for multiple species. Good luck, I'll see you out there somewhere. Uh, had a flock of ringnecks come in and busted four of them. Two drakes and two hens. So we got that going on. Ring now, so now we've had ringnecks, bluebills, and mallards decoy in, as well as buffleheads and hooded mergansers and green winged teal. But so far we've just been shooting the mallards, the bluebills, and the ringnecks. So a real nice straight ringneck right there. That's a nice mature one there. So. Well, uh, we just had a group of bluebills come in, um, and we knocked down three of them. Two drakes and a hen here. Uh, we're just remarking these are definitely bluebills have been flying a while, just rotund little butterballs. So, uh, some nice birds there. I'll add them to our mix here. Uh, we get, now we've got a mallard. We've got four bluebills. Three drakes and a hen. And then we've got, oops, four ringnecks here. Two drakes and two hens. So we're approaching our daily limit here. Three more birds. We're just talking only two of them can be bluebills. Otherwise uh, we're good on everything else. So um, saw mallards early. Got that mallard out of a group early. Um, 
since then. Um, well, we saw a couple of gadwalls early, three teal. Since then, it's been bluebills, ringnecks, buffalo heads, and hooded mergansers is largely what we've been seeing. We did see one flock of cans. We've seen quite a few high groups of mallards. I'm gonna get the camera from you, Dad, to film something here. We just had a shoveler hen land in the decoys. There she is. <laughs> While we're filming here, a shoveler hen just landed in the decoys. We're not gonna bother her. That's uh, her lucky day. So, looking for bigger game than her. So, uh, here's the camera back to my dad. We, we don't, we're not going to shoot that shoveler hen. We had teal on the water in the morning. We're not going to shoot teal on the water. Um, we passed on buffies. We could have shot 15, 20 buffies today, probably another 15, 20 hooded mergansers, but we were out here pretty uh, specifically. We were looking for mallards and big divers like bluebills and ringnecks, cans and redheads. We haven't seen any redheads today. We've seen a couple groups of cans. Um, and then we've seen lots of groups of, uh, high groups of mallards. Uh, floating into, into town on the river near here, so hopefully they'll stick around. Uh, it's going to be a little colder yet the next couple of days. So, um, But these divers are definitely moving in too, so it should be some good hunting here for a few days until uh, with the forecast we're giving, we're going to lock stuff up in about a week. We're going to ice everything up. So, um, We'll stick it out here a little longer, see if we can add in uh, three more ducks here yet and finish up. Hey, well, we had a pair of mallards come in. We're at 10 ducks, we need two. A pair of mallards come in. I shot the green head. Nice, big beastly one there with some nice orange feet. And then, as we were starting to take the blind down and get stuff ready to go out to pick him up, a flock of ringnecks came in. I needed one duck, so I had my dad come up and he shot a, another drake ringneck. We'll add him to the pile here. And then, uh, we didn't show video of it earlier, but boy, you want to talk about some orange feet. Look at the feet on that spoonie. Uh, we did take a Drake shoveler uh, out of a bunch there. Some of the orangest feet I've ever seen. So, um, so there's a November cold front limit. Uh, mixed bag, obviously, two mallards. What do we got? Two mallards, four bluebills five ringnecks, and a uh, shoveler. So, nice mix limit there. Uh, it's about noon here, so it's about time to call it quits anyway. Um, there's still ducks coming down. There's ducks migrating all day here today. Um, but obviously we have our 12 ducks and we got other stuff to do this afternoon, so I'm sure we'll have more ducks working this as we're picking up the decoys here. Uh, we're gonna get the decoys picked up and head in, so uh, hope uh, you uh, learned a few tricks here about decoy placement and using a variety of decoys and um, finding that nice windswept point uh, this time of year where it can be divers as well as puddle ducks. Uh, divers like points, islands, they like where they can cross stuff and not have to come straight into trees um, just because they have their smaller wings, fat bodies, it takes them a little more time to climb and get out so they like to approach with water in front of them. Um, and a uh, nice kind of a crosswind like we have here too makes the birds not looking straight at us too. So we had a good setup, uh, good decoy spread, the right conditions, ducks migrating. Um, sometimes we shot well today, sometimes we didn't shoot so well today. <laughs> um, but uh, we're glad too that we passed on buffalo heads and, and stuff like that in the morning and teal in the morning so we could shoot these uh, nice big plump ducks. I hear geese migrating in the background. Uh, we have started to see, yeah, there's a big wave of geese coming in up there. We've started to see geese coming down now, too. Uh, looks like we had a few snow flurries blowing around here again, so birds will be migrating all day uh, today. Um, Got to get out when they're moving. Um, again, we're going to freeze up the water in a couple, or probably about four or five days here with the temperatures they're forecasting, so you got to get out when you can. Um, but we're going to get picked up here now and uh, get on out of here. Hey, well, we're up at the landing, and uh, you can see we had a good day. Um, we've got two mallards, a shoveler, four bluebills, and five ringnecks. Uh, we managed nine drakes out of the 12 there. Um, decoyed lots of ducks trying to pick out drakes. Didn't shoot at uh, some hen shovelers, didn't shoot at some teal. 
Um, didn't shoot at a bunch of buffalo heads, didn't shoot at a bunch of mergansers, uh, hooded mergansers, uh, trying to pick the birds we wanted. Uh, you can see out on the lake, it's, it's still a little windy, still a little rough. Uh, looks like a cold front, sounds like a cold front, feels like one, but uh, boy, it had the birds moving. Uh, still hearing geese migrating overhead um, here in the middle of the day, but uh, we're gonna go clean some ducks and warm up and have some hot food. So uh, thanks for joining us for this episode of Fishing and Hunting the North Country, and thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.